Now we are looking at uh, data science courses and bootcamp. I'm going to quickly take you to the earlier slide just to revise you what I just talked about and then we are going to move back. So education or becoming a data scientist, uh, there are different ways and path to that. If you have been working into data analytics or business intelligence or these fields, then you can take a trajectory and apply directly to a data science position based on uh, your past experience. But if you are jumping into this field, then you have to, uh, then you have to, it's uh, a challenge to then pose yourself as an experienced guy who can do a lot of stuff. So then you have to start with a startup or some entry level position, or you have to move into fields which are very unique like big data or Python programmer to get your door inside the, to put your foot inside the door. Okay, now the boot camps right now are charging around eighteen to twenty thousand dollar, and the master's program are charging between fifty to eighty thousand of dollar. The boot camps are of twelve to twenty four weeks. They are extremely rigorous, extremely rigorous. You have to be there on the weekends as well. You cannot do anything when you are doing that. You have to get there at eight a.m. and go back at uh, eight p.m. So you have to be there twelve hours, more or less six or seven days a week, which is very different from the traditional MS program where you have nine credit hours or 12 credit hours. It's a tri-semester, so you can finish in one year. You have to take 10 subjects. Each semester, you take four subjects, so you have a classes that's 12 hours a week. So your whole course load would be 20 to 30 hours, which is double in the boot camp because they are squeezing a lot of stuff in the boot camp. The boot camps are portfolio centric, which means that you have to start with a project, start with some data from Kaggle. The data, are, the data that you get is more or less real data. Uh, that companies are contributing and you compete and look at different people who are doing same kind of stuff and interview centric. That's how boot camp work. Uh, data science is more coursework. A professor would not talk in his class what uh, the questions in the interview. He would focus on delivering the, the learnings. But uh, the boot camp is more about how you have to use that knowledge in your portfolio. You should have a section in your portfolio and a commentary and an interview question or what goes on in the interview question because most of the bootcamp instructors are going to sit with you in live interviews and uh, help you to learn how to give those interviews and the whole focus is on giving the interviews when when you are learning something the entry to boot camps is very hard most of the time it includes a very hard technical round and most of the time it also includes a prep course after the prep course you have to give an exam and only if you pass the prep course then you are allowed in the boot camp because Attrition is a big problem. If 20 people start in a boot camp, then maybe they cannot cope up with the pressure and two thirds might leave in some time. So uh, entry is hard, includes a technical round and a prep course so that they can decide which people do they want to. That's where when I go to a lot of boot camps um, and some of them don't charge money, by the way, and they have such a hard entry requirement and uh, prerequisite that uh, you have to completely forget everything when you are with them. The instructor is focused on job or networking. Second last point on the screen. <clears throat> and graduation means getting a job. So that's how the bootcamp and the data science look like. Now I'm coming back to the part where I'm going to talk more about data science course and the boot camp. So we just saw what is the difference between data science and machine learning and artificial intelligence and data analytics. So when you are deciding a data science uh, boot camp or when you want to study data science course or a boot camp, then you should have an idea about what you're going to specialize into. You have to decide whether you like math or you like big data, whether you like more of business part or you know more like business intelligence part. What do you like more? So then you have to be very careful on deciding what you want. Uh, you can also decide how much do you like Python. Python programming in itself becomes a very critical part. So if you're very good at Python programming, if you want to tweak in that direction, then you can go more of a Python developer. Uh, a significant of the course that happens in bootcamp, it's hands-on. It's no theory. You don't have to solve anything. Everything is on the code. You start the code, you end the code, and all of your life is the code. Uh, Scala Hadoop uh, is, a, is an important part. We have been talking about that, that big data plus data science become a very nice 
saying and data wrangling and concept remains agnostic to any programming language you use. So when you start a data science course, you should know math. Uh, in math, you are expected to know uh, polynomial equation, roots of an equation, graphing, different type of charting techniques. Uh, you should, if you have engineering math, it's good. If not, it does not matter. A little bit of calculus. In statistics, you need to know normal distribution, binomial distribution, a lot of distributions, and uh, uh, how to find out if two distributions belong to the same group, and so on and so forth. Central limit theorem and all those kind of stuff. Uh, mind you, when you start all of this, we start directly with the code. So it's all code right from the word go. Then you would use Python and statistical techniques in Python. So all of the math and the stat works in Python. So Python is your main language that you keep on doing. There is no solving of mathematical equation on paper. It's all Python from the word go. Then you learn all the machine learning algorithms. Uh, uh, you start with the scikit-learn uh, and then you end up with TensorFlow and Keras, which is more about neural networking. Then you learn more of big data. And then you have to decide whether you want to specialize in big data or deep learning. If you are scared about programming, uh, if you don't think that programming is not what you want to do that much, uh, database and uh, IT is not something that you would like, then you can specialize in deep learning. But even before you start anything, there is a pre-work required and that pre-work is into Python, data analysis and visualizing with Python and basic statistics to start with. After the pre-work is done, only then you are generally allowed entry into a boot camp. I mean, that's how they would like to screen and filter people out. Uh, what's required in math and stat? This is for the people who want to go more towards machine learning and more towards uh, uh, the neural network and all the math. So you are required uh, to know logarithmic, exponential and polynomial functions. Uh, trigonometry, real and complex number, you need to know a lot of graphing, graphing becomes very important. Uh, calculus and in statistics you should know regression, uh, autocorrelation, probability theory, Bayes theorem, central limit theorem, numerical analysis like time series and forecasting and these things help you to learn clustering and decision which are the core machine learning techniques. So machine learning methods are could be called clustering decision tree KNN. We just talked about it, the 10 ones using the scikit library. So I'm going to take you back there. So machine learning is more about the scikit learn. This is the scikit learn and the machine learning. So machine learning has classification, clustering, regression, and dimension reduction. And when we talk about uh, Advanced machine learning, we are then talking about deep learning, which is neural network, tensors, and keras. So, this is how a typical 12-week uh, boot camp looks like. Uh, it's a full-time course. Uh, the engagement is 50 to 70 hours a week. Uh, intro to data science overview uh, and prerequisite. Prerequisite are generally for a month or something like that, two weeks if it's full-time. Uh, and pre-works. So the first week when you go there starts with EDA and pandas and data wrangling and uh, data cleaning and pulling the data from different sources. Once that is done, then we delve more into statistical fundamentals, which, which are, by the way, done a little bit in the, in the prerequisite. Then you do regression and more exploited data analysis. You have regression and classification, if you remember. <clears throat> regression could give you why or the outcome as a continuous value. So if you want to find out how much amount would somebody buy from you, the dollar amount, then that's regression. But if you want to find out whether that person will buy from you or not buy from you, that's classification. So regression, in regression, your outcome or what you're predicting is continuous. While in classification, it's only zero and one, whether it's going to buy or not. Then you use decision tree random forest for classification, not regression. And then you use natural language processing because a lot of bots that are going to talk with you would use NLP because you would think that you're talking to a human, but it would be a bot. So you need to know how to process natural language. Then you use dimension reduction and time series. Time series is heavily used in financial world. Uh, dimension reduction is used to remove all the things that you don't want so that you don't pull a lot of stuff from the big data and your life become easy. Then you have data engineering specialization, where it's more about SQL, Hadoop, Hive, Big Data. We saw that 
two ways to get high salary is either focus on data science with big data or data science with deep learning and artificial neural network. So that is it. Week nine, generally nowadays in my bootcamp and other, we do DevOps, which is how to develop uh, a code from start till end. And then it's more about project interviews and getting a job. That's very important because in that time, we build up our own model and our final project and we revise everything and use it, put it to use. Maybe we can launch it using a Django based website or an app so that we could see the things live in action. Now, the beauty about Python is that when you make something, you can launch a website or launch an app and do everything very quickly because it's a very easy to use language and you can launch your app and you can use your model at the end and and uh, it could be in production very quickly as compared to like R or any other language. So this is uh, in again the same stuff, a little detail about how do you do graphs and charting. You use different libraries in Python. Um, so this is like an intro course that you can have for five days or uh, or like two weeks to understand what all goes inside that. Uh, and these are the topics. And my last section after this would be excelling as data scientist.